Hey everyone, I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Today, we're gonna to show you how to install the Tusk UTV Adventure Roof Rack on your Polaris Razor Pro XP. Today we're installing our Tusk UTV Adventure Roof Rack on our Polaris Razor Pro XP4. The process will be similar for the two-seaters as well. Now this thing not only looks good, it's rugged, and you're gonna be able to get your items out of the cab, you're gonna free up some legroom, and you have plenty of tie-down points to secure your items. So when you go to order this, you do have the option to get it with a roof or a light bar or any combination of those things or just by itself. So be aware of that. Now, if you have a roof on your machine already that's not a Tusk roof, you wanna check our website and make sure that this roof rack is gonna work for you. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. To start out, you wanna lay out all of the items that come in your kit, including your hardware, and compare that stuff to your instructions and make sure everything's there. So right here, we have our cross members. There's one wider cross member that goes in the front. We've got our side rails here and here. We've got our rear section and our front section, and then this is all of our hardware. The main tools we'll need for this job are a five millimeter Allen and 13 millimeter combo wrench. We're also gonna use a 10 millimeter socket and four millimeter Allen. We've got safety glasses, rags, a drill, and some drill bits. So with our machine, we already have a roof installed. So we're gonna have to remove the two front mounting bolts. And if you have a Tusk roof installed on yours, you wanna keep track of that spacer underneath the roof. You don't wanna lose that. Now we can install the front cross member. So this is the wider cross member and we're gonna install it so both edges are facing down and the front edge has these slots on each side. Now when you install this, you're gonna use your 55 millimeter bolts. Now each bolt is gonna have a washer that goes through it. That applies to all of the bolts in this kit. And then as you install this, keep in mind that we're gonna go through this one inch spacer. So this is the mid size spacer in your kit. You have more of these than any other one if you're having a hard time identifying it. These are the 55 millimeter bolts or the longest bolts. So we'll go through there and then we've got that spacer in between the roof and the roll cage. And then on the back side of every bolt, you're gonna install a nylock nut. And keep in mind throughout the process, we're just gonna leave everything loose until we make some adjustments later on. For the next cross member, we need to make some holes in the roof so we can mount it up. So the mid cross member for the roll cage in those corners in front of it, towards the front of the machine, you're gonna have two holes and some gussets and we're just gonna drill straight up through those holes into our roof. Now that we have those two holes, we can install the next cross member, this is just gonna be one of the standard cross members. We've got a slot on each side that the bolt's gonna go through. This is our 55 millimeter bolt, and we're using the longer spacers, or the longest spacers in the kit, right underneath. And then in between the roof and that roll cage gusket, we're installing one of these smaller spacers, and then again, a nylock nut on the back side. And we'll do that on both sides. Installing these next two cross members is gonna be just like the front. We're just gonna remove two bolts at a time. There's a spacer underneath in between the roof and that roll cage gusset. And then we're gonna use that same hardware. So 55 millimeter bolt and one inch spacers 
for both of these cross members. The next step is to install our side rails. So with these, you're gonna have four different side rails. And with each of them, you'll have a front piece and a rear piece. Just keep in mind that they can only go on in one way. So the mounting holes, they're gonna be on the bottom. And then the shortest side of the rail is always gonna to face towards the back. And we're just gonna use these 20 millimeter button head bolts to attach them. We'll go through those cross members we just installed on the very outside mounting hole. And then again, we're going to be installing nylock nuts on the back side. The one difference on the front is you're going to have two mounting holes towards the front. Next we'll attach our support bracket. When you install this, just make sure the Tusk logo is in the correct orientation and we're going to use the 20 millimeter Allen head bolts to attach it. And we'll do those same steps on the other side. The next step is to install the three remaining cross members to the side rails. Now the side rails have some holes drilled into them. You're not going into the slots. You're just going to see three drilled holes going all the way back. And that's where we're going to attach the remaining cross members. Now we're gonna install the rear section of this roof rack. So we just need to make sure that the Tusk logo is in the correct orientation when it's facing the back of the machine. So I'm gonna flip that just like this. We've got the tabs that need to go inside of the side rails on each side. And then again, we're using the M20 bolts to attach this. The next step is to install the front section. But before we do that, I wanna point out 
these holes right in the middle of the cross members. We are going to drill through those and we're going to put a spacer in between the cross member and the roof. And we're going to go through with a bolt and we've got the nylock nut on the back side. Now with that, there's going to be different size spacers throughout this. So you definitely want to refer to those instructions as you go through the process. But I wanted to point that out before we put that front section in the way because it's gonna hide some of that stuff and it's gonna be harder to see what we're doing. Now, as we put the front section in place, again, the mounts are gonna go inside of the side rails. And we actually have different hardware to install this because these are actually made so you can run a light bar with them. So if you wanna run a light bar, you can add the light bar mount at the same time. And the hardware that came in the same package as these bolts for the front section should have two bolts to mount up that light bar as well. Now for this machine, we're not adding a light bar. So we're just going to install those bolts. We've got the nylock nuts on the inside. This bottom bolt, we are going to have to remove it in a later step to tighten down these side rails. So definitely don't get this one too tight right now. Now that we have the rack loosely assembled, we need to square it up and we're gonna tighten down all of the hardware. Once it's tightened down, then we can start working on the center supports. Now we just have a couple more bolts to tighten up. And I mentioned earlier, we were gonna remove this bolt to tighten this one going through the side rail. But with that being loose, we can actually fit our Allen key onto the bolt head and we're gonna be able to tighten this down. But if for some reason you can't do that with yours, just remove that bolt. Now that we have everything tightened down, that means these holes in the center of the cross members, those are in the correct spot. So we can go ahead and take our drill bit. We're gonna drill through all seven cross members in that center hole. For the middle cross member, we actually have a bolt right in that middle, middle hole. We need to remove it, so that's where we're gonna use our four millimeter Allen and 10 millimeter socket. And this is just one of the bolts that's holding the front section to the back. So we're just going straight through that bolt hole and then we'll finish drilling the rest of these out. Starting in the back, we're gonna start installing these spacers and the hardware with them. So for this very back one, this is a one inch spacer. So I'm just gonna slide that through the slot and then we're gonna slide that over. Then we've got our 50 millimeter bolt. We'll slide that through and we've got the nylock nut on the back side. Next, we have the 0.8 spacer and the 40 millimeter bolt. Now to get these ones in for these three cross members that aren't going through the frame, what we're gonna do is pull up on this bar and push down on the roof just a little bit to slide this under. And once that's under, straighten up the spacer and slide it into place. Now I do wanna mention if you're having trouble with lifting this bar up and it's not working out for you, you can remove one of the bolts from the ends and just slide this in from the end, but we just think it's a little easier to pull up on the cross member. So this next one, it's the same thing, 0.8 spacer with a 40 millimeter bolt. 
So the fourth one up from the back, this is the one inch spacer and 50 millimeter bolt. Fifth one up is the 1.25 inch spacer and another 50 millimeter bolt. The sixth one is the 0.8 spacer and 40 millimeter bolt. And in the very front, we've got the one inch spacer and 50 millimeter bolt. Now we're gonna go back through and tighten them all down. That's all there is to installing your Tusk UTV Adventure Roof Rack on your Polaris Razor Pro XP. If you have any questions about the install process, leave those down in the comments below. And if you need to pick one of these up, they're available on our website. They're gonna qualify for free shipping. And if you wanna see more helpful content like this or install videos for the roof or light bar, then go ahead and subscribe to our channel and check those videos out. I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ATVMC. Thanks for watching.